Chelsea as parents. Hope you guys have had a great week. Uh, it's been kind of an odd week for me. Uh, it's been a very short week for me because as I told you guys last Thursday, uh, I was actually out of the country end of last week through the beginning of this week. Mrs. Fortney and I, as well as our uh, youngest daughter, we all went to Oaxaca, Mexico, where our son was getting married this last weekend. So Brandon and Gabby, congratulations. Uh, it was a great wedding. If you've never been down to Oaxaca, Mexico, it is beautiful. The food is amazing. Uh, we had a great time while we were down there overall. Uh, but it's good to be back. Uh, the the workload is not so good to be back to. As you know, uh, even if you take some time off, uh, the work does not take time off. So still catching up on a few things this week, but that's all right. Uh, this week has been great for a lot of reasons, uh, no, chiefly because clubs started this week. We are so happy to have clubs back at Fairfield Christian School. We've not been able to do clubs for a number of years because of COVID, uh, but now they're back and they started this week. And I know I saw kids in clubs all this week and I know they're, ex they're excited about them. I know uh, teachers enjoy doing them and it's a great opportunity. Not only do they add value to the FCS experience, uh, they also still provide educational opportunities, but in a less formal environment. For example, Mr. Nodine's Rocketry Club. Uh, they're still learning scientific principles as they build their rockets and eventually launch their rockets into the air. And how much fun is that, launching rockets in the air? Uh, that's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to the end of the uh, semester when they're going to be launching those rockets. So again, we're glad to have clubs, whether it's the Rocketry Club or the STEM Club or the Art Club, or we've got even a service club where kids are going out to love and tutoring sites or middle, school and high, middle schoolers and high schoolers, and they're tutoring other kids within our community. Uh, that's just an awesome opportunity, uh, great service, and it's a great opportunity to extend the reach of Fairfield Christian School out into the community. So a lot of great things going on in terms of clubs. Tomorrow, we've got our color run taking place tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. It'll be after chapel. So chapel will be 8.30. Uh, starts at 8.30. We usually get done around 9.15. Depends on how long I talk tomorrow. Maybe 9.30. Uh, so we'll get done with chapel. And then kids will have time to change into their running clothes. If your kids are running tomorrow, make sure they bring clothes to change into. And then we'll start the color run about 10 a.m. And that'll go from 10 to 11 a.m. Uh, after the color run, we'll do, uh, the kids will get popsicles, we'll take pictures, do all that sort of thing, and then wrap things up for the day. But parents, if you want to come out and cheer your kids on while they're running, uh, do that. If you want to come and join us for chapel, you're always invited to chapel as well. Just make sure you check in with the office if you're coming to chapel. Uh, for, for the color run, uh, you guys can be right out here in the parking lot because uh, th that's where all the bibs will be marked, and that's where the kids will be running through as we've got a quarter mile lap. Uh, around the various parts of the campus and it is a lot of fun. We'll have the color station out on the playground where kids will have colored cornstarch thrown onto them. Uh, it'll be a great time. They can avoid the color station if they don't want the color thrown on them, but it'll be a great time. I recommend white t-shirts so that the color shows up nice and bright on those t-shirts as they run through the color station, but it's going to be a great time on campus as the kids are running around. We'll have music playing. Uh, it'll be a nice festive atmosphere and uh, for you guys that are doing the fundraising, it's a chance to to raise funds to lower your tuition as well. So hopefully kids got some pledges and we'll be marking those bibs and seeing how many laps various kids can do throughout the day. So great time tomorrow with the color run. Also be aware next weekend is a four day weekend. It is our fall break. So no school on Friday, October 7th and no school on Monday, October 10th. Parents, please be aware of that. If you show up with your kids on either of those days, there'll be nobody here. So no school Friday, October 7th no school Monday, October 10th. That's a four day weekend for us. Parents, one more thing I do wanna discuss. I know I brought this up in the past before, but please, please, please monitor what your kids are watching, whether on the internet or on television, wherever they're consuming their media from, please <clears throat> monitor that very closely. Um, uh, over the last several weeks, I've heard several kids here on campus, uh, if I'm being honest, primarily younger kids, elementary students, uh, I've heard certain things coming out of their mouth, and when they're asked, where did you hear that? Uh, they tell me on the internet, uh, I was watching anime, I was doing, uh, watching other things. Parents, monitor what your kids are consuming. If you do not have parental controls on every device your child has access to and you are playing with a loaded weapon. Uh, listen, there's all kinds of crazy stuff out there and trust me, just because it's a cartoon does not mean it's made for kids. Please make sure you are aware of every second of media that your child is consuming because garbage going in equals garbage coming out. 
and we don't want to see that. We want to protect our kids as much as possible. Uh, you know, here at the school, we've got a filter on the internet that, uh, for the most part, does a really good job of keeping kids off. Of course, especially the older kids, sometimes get a little savvy and try to figure out ways around the filter. Uh, we try to shut those down as quickly as possible. But, but we're aware of that here. We're monitoring things. We've got lots of various rules. Uh, in your home, there should be lots of rules, lots of rules about watching any sort of media, including, as I've stated before, your child should never, ever have access to the internet in their bedroom. Never. Anytime they have access to the internet or any type of media, it should only be in a public area of your home where anybody can see it at any time. I cannot stress that enough. Listen, there is temptation everywhere, especially online. You'll be surfing the internet and an ad will pop up and it's like, where did that ad come from? And it happens on my computer. I can only imagine what happens on kids' computers. And when they see these images, they want to click them. On top of that, there are people out there intentionally trying to damage your children online. Protect your kids. Monitor everything. Know exactly what they're watching. If you want something good and wholesome, then make sure you subscribe to Right Now Media. You can do that through the school and you get it basically for free. Actually, totally for free. We pay for it here at the school, and you can get uh, it's right now. Media, if you're not aware of it, it's like the Christian Netflix. There's lots of great things on there. A lot of great Bible study series for you as adults, but they've got a lot of kids series on there as well. Lots of good cartoons, wholesome uh, biblical cartoons that your kids can watch. That is completely safe. Look for those types of options for your kids. Don't default to the options of the world. You need to make sure you find those options that are biblical and wholesome and good. For kids please make sure you're monitoring their stuff now, these kids we hear a lot of stuff from kids we probably know more about what's going on at home than you think because these kids talk and they say things and when they say things uh, when we ask them where did you hear that they're gonna tell us and I know for a fact that a lot of these kids have unfiltered and unchecked access to the internet that should not be happening please make sure you're monitoring your child's media intake all right uh, we are praying for them all the time. We pray protection over them constantly, whether they're here or whether they're off campus. All right, it's been a great week this week. Again, club starting up. I'm excited about that. We've got great stuff coming up on the calendar. Make sure you're watching that calendar. Make sure you're checking our newsletter that comes out every single week. Uh, lots of great information on there as well, usually about all the events coming up as well. And again, I check Thursday Thoughts every week. I usually have lots of information here on the Thursday Thoughts video as well. All right, you guys have an awesome weekend. Hope to see you guys real soon, maybe at the Color Run tomorrow. God bless.